Senior Vice President for Sangaban, responsible for Sustainable Habitat and also General Delegate for UK, Ireland and South Africa. I started my career in the industry straight from school at 16, where I joined the local timber merchants called Chadwick's, which I'm now very proud to the, uh, to the fact that it's now part of the Sangaban group. Um, so I started straight from school, uh, did all the jobs that you would expect to do really from, from the shop floor, working my way right through the industry. I was very keen on the, on the more practical sides of, of schooling, particularly woodwork, uh, and I guess just the association quite honestly. I think since then, you know, I'm now in the industry for some 42 years, I think the people side of it is fantastic. I think I really love the people side of it, that B2B dynamic between the, the clients, uh, our staff and also very importantly the suppliers. I think the, uh, the fact that Juicen have been managed to, to give me a good career, I think is very important. You know, so for me it's been a, it's been a lifetime of, of, of enjoyment, quite honestly. Undoubtedly the biggest highlight was the MBE award in 2009. I mean, these awards aren't expected, has come as a great surprise. I think the people side of it is something that I uh, immensely get a lot of great pleasure in, since watching people develop. And the fact that it's, it's very dynamic, it's fast moving, it's an industry I think that gives a lot of opportunities. And, and quite substantial in, it, in its performance within the UK. Sometimes people look at the industry as, as fairly, you know, fairly basic really, and, and people that don't understand the industry don't really understand the complexity of the B2B business, particularly in general merchanting, who I think in, you know, the pricing dynamic alone is, is extremely complex. So for me to make the industry more fashionable, to be able to award uh, people with, uh, with graduation certificates, etc., which maybe they wouldn't have got up before, uh, maybe they want to go to university. I think whatever we can do on the education side, and particularly with making the industry more fashionable, I think is, is important. I think the relationship side of the business on B2B is, is very important. So not only with the client, but also with the manufacturer. So anywhere where we could form groups, whether that be golf days or any sporting events or any sort of uh, charitable organisation, we could, we could do, I guess, was important. And on the back of that, if we raise money for good causes on the way, that was, that was an added bonus. I think the business has gone through a very difficult five to six years. Uh, I think now the signs are more encouraging. I think there's some, some, some threats there in terms of challenging the basic industry dynamics. And, um, you know, I just wish the industry every success. For me, I think there's three main points for the industry. I think the price visibility coming from the internet is a factor that's challenging a lot of the, the pricing dynamics of the the generalist industry, so I think, I think price visibility through the internet is the first challenge. I think the second challenge facing most of the industry is the cost of real estate. I think the real estate in the UK is just going to get more and more expensive. And I think the, the important use of space and, and the calculations of, of the right use of space I think is a challenge. And the third one I think is logistics. I think logistics again, just like the real estate, is going to get more and more expensive. And I think that cost recovery of the logistics, particularly in our game, is going to be critical. I think to be nominated by peers is, is a great privilege and a great honour, quite honestly. So I'm delighted to, to accept this award and uh, I'll continue to do everything I can to, to make the industry successful.